Hey guys, today I'm going to review, finally, Final Fantasy XV. I just literally just finished this game and I just gotta say I had a lot of things to say about this game. I had a long way when it was announced that Final Fantasy vs. 13 and now 15 with all the two demos. There's a lot of things I want to explain and all I gotta say this is I love this freaking game. I'm so happy that this game got released. I'm so happy that <laughs> I actually have it in my hand and play it whenever and ever. And all I can say is that I am, thank you Square, thank you Tabula for releasing this game after the long 10 years, even though it was not technically 10 years, pretty much four years, but still it's 10 years in general because the character was made by, you know, Tetsu no more, the, the whole environment setting was made by, you know, by him, the story wise was made by him, the music was also made by, uh, you know, you know, the same composer, you know, pretty much everything was, you know, the same, just story wise has been changed up a bit and everything else was just, you know, pretty much, you know, had to, you know, cut and put something new. So I'm gonna talk about, you know, of course, the gameplay, the character, with, I mean, the characters, the, the party members, the soundtrack, the music, of course, the setting, the, the graphic design, and everything, story, of course, and of course, <laughs> the replay value, and of course, the, uh, the ratings of the of the end of the video. So as you guys know, I already played the demos both. Um, Episode Dasuke and Platinum Demo and and even though the gameplay was not as perfect but yet again those were test betas type of thing but when I play the main game all I just say this is I love this for you. This game is really like Kingdom Hearts but in Final Fantasy because you know you control only one character and other members follow you around pretty much similar like Kingdom Hearts which you know you have, your main character is Sora and you you have other party members helping you out and no this is not a hacker slash game everybody keeps saying this is a hacker slash game it is not a hacker slash game it is more like Kingdom Hearts game, gameplay if you guys don't understand that look at Kingdom Hearts 2 look at um, Birth by Sleep um, look at um, uh, Dream Drop Distance if you guys look at those gameplays, they are similar to Final Fantasy XV and that's how the gameplay is in this game. It's not old, I mean there are old dramatic, you know, gameplay parts but it's, it's, it's so cool though and it makes a, a lot of sense because, you know, it's a Final Fantasy game, you know, you, you, everything is always about fantasy and, you know, weapons and magic, that's always been the most important thing about Final Fantasy. And what I like about this compared to Kingdom Hearts is that Kingdom Hearts is, you know, um, and what I see, they're both similar, you know, they both are like strategic type of games when you, you know, you, you, you know, you, you, of course, you use your weapons, of course, your main weapons, but not to have more than one weapon you could use, which is kind of cool. And then also, you know, you could use magic as well, which is, you know, similar to Kingdom Hearts and also items is also important too. And of course, you have the summons, you know, they, you know, they help you out, um, which, you know, you don't really control the summon, they pretty much come in randomly sometimes, uh, if your party members are having much trouble facing a boss battle or uh, a sub-boss or pretty much uh, any strongest creatures you're facing that you, you know, it takes you a hard time to beat, it's something when you're like almost dying, you know, they help you out and make sure, you know, they obliterate all the monsters and everything around you. So that way you get your point. You know, of course your main character is Noctis, you know, he has like all different weapons, you know, using a gun, using, you know, a blade, uh, uh, there's different blades he uses. Um, even sometimes he uses the weapons that he, he gains from the tombs, um, which those weapons are kind of good but kind of bad because they drain your health. So you gotta be careful, don't use those weapons a lot. And of course, you know, with your characters, um, you don't get to control the other characters like other Final Fantasy games, but you get to help uh, give them weapons, accessories, and potions, and magics, and even um, link up attacks. 
so that way you know they could you know you guys could work together to defeat the creatures that you know that you face up. And of course, in every Final Fantasy game, usually you have to level up you know your Final Fantasy, but but usually you level up by you know defeating monsters and stuff like that. But this time it's kind of different because you don't level up by defeating monsters. You only have to level up by sleeping in the, in the camp or sleeping in the hotel or motel or an inn. So those are the ways you gotta you level up. And also, um, each party member had different skills, which I'm gonna talk about. So not this had you know has a skill of fishing, which he also could gain spit um, um, also gain experience by fishing, which is kind of cool too. Uh, Ignis is also um, is a cook, so he could also help the game experience, well, gain the party experience as well, which is kind of cool as well. So and you gotta find different ingredients around the world, or you can find ingredients whatever you eat in a in a restaurant or in a fancy restaurant, and that way he write down the ingredients so you can make it, you know, for the party once you go in the campsite. Gradio is pretty much a, a, a has a survival skill, but uh, his skill is just pretty much he finds items for you, or he just, you know, if he runs off by himself, sometimes you know he gets more experience by doing stuff like that. And Pronto, which <laughs> we gotta, we, you know, I gotta say he's one of my favorite characters. But with him, um, <laughs> he, his skills is that he loves taking pictures. He takes pictures. Randomly a lot. Even he takes pictures, selfie, take group pictures. You know, I have like a lot of pictures that were good or bad and randomly. But I love how um, Anto takes pictures. It's kind of weird. Much better than how we take pictures, though. And of course, in a way, how you wanted to level your skill or upgrade your skills and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. I did mention about in the world of Final Fantasy that. Um, like this is a uh, spear grip, well, it's called the ascension and what it is is that um, you just pretty much once you get your AP you know depending how much how much AP you have those you gotta use it for you know to gain more skills and more stats and more everything pretty much similar to World of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 12, 13 and 10 which is you know and yeah yeah and it's just pretty much you know that's the only way you gotta you know level up. I say the you know level up like not this pronto in this gladio you know just pretty much stuff like that. There's nothing bad about the gameplay. I just love it. It's fun. It's cha this challenging and it's you know it's it's pretty much everything I want in Final Fantasy. Yet you don't control the party like in all Final Fantasy games, but it is fun and you know. I wouldn't mind playing this game again, you know, because the battle system is so much fun, it's so much excitement. It's, I would play this game again, <laughs> no matter what. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the characters. The characters. Oh my god. <laughs> I love these characters. Not this, Ignis, Prontos, and Gladios. They are so likable. They're like one of my favorite, favorite party members in, in every Final Fantasy game. They all have personality. They remind me a lot, lot of like the Ninja Turtles. You know, not this is pretty much the Leonardo of the team. Um, Pronto is like Michelangelo, but he's not as you know wacky and crazy. I mean, he's he's a fun character that he he just want to enjoy the stuff around him and have fun. This is like the Donald of the <laughs> of the team, but he doesn't make tech stuff. He just drives and. Um, makes food, you know, stuff like that. And then Gladio is pretty much the Raphael of the team, but he is not a really a big hot head, but he is a sort of hot head, but not too much crazy because he does, you know, want his best for his friends, you know, make sure that, you know, that he had, that they have a prophecy, they have a, you know, a goal to make sure that, you know, they save their world, they get back their kingdom. And, um, <laughs> and, and the other characters in the game, uh, I wish they would explain them more, you know, I did saw Kingsclave and Brotherhood, you know, I did get a glimpse about the characters, but certain characters, I felt like they could have just expressed more, um, I, I don't want to spoil too much because you guys got to try it yourself, or those who did, you probably know who I'm talking about, but, you know, I just felt, you know, they, you know, they could have been better in the game, you know, just, it's great it would take a little bit more time. Maybe if they had a little more much more delay and focusing on the story, that would be amazing. But um but that's my little little complaint. And also uh, the main villain was Arden Uzuria. 
uh, he is like the only main villain of the game. Everybody else is like side villains, but again, they could explain them more. But Arden and Julia is one of the <laughs> bestest villains in this game. He reminds me of Mr. with Seymour and Kepka. He is like he's like both of them combined, and 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 a little bit of Sephiroth in him, but not too much of Sephiroth. He feels much of Seymour and Kepka because this guy is like ooh, like <laughs> this moment is like you know like like I just want to say I want to kill this guy. I really want to kill him because everything he does in this game will pretty much want to piss you off and say what the hell really that's what happened i'm like seriously but that's how that's how great that that's how well that i enjoy you know with this villain you know make something memorable make a villain that's memorable make a villain that we gonna hate make a villain that you know that um you know that he could give him a hard time the only downside about his you know, facing him in the end, it's just, it could have been better. I mean, they could have make it more traditional with the Final Fantasy, like the way how other Final Forces are in other Final Fantasy games, like make it more epic, more, you know, dynamic, more challenging, you know. That's my little, that's my only complaint. Hopefully they add that in the update patch, you know, it's great in some watching my video. Hopefully they, you know, update, you know, stuff like, you know, the final battle, the update, you know, certain things that this and also I gotta say by the the game, uh, the voice acting. Um, I play the game in English and uh, <coughs> the English voice acting, I say these the main characters, um, the voice actors who play the main characters are so well. They so good. I like I like how the English voice acting uh, you know, they so, you know, how they put in so much effort in this, you know, in the game as a characteristic, like not this, you know. His voice acting is so spot on, so good. Uh, and um, <clears throat> the same thing with, you know, Pronto's voice actor, he's so likable. Uh, I love English voice actor, he's so, you know, like, you know, he's so imperial and so, you know, like um, a guide you know, type of person, which, you know, I love about his character. And also with, you know, Gladio's voice actor, you know, like I said, that he's similar like Raphael, it's like a high head, but he is more like a high head, and he show, they show him very well. And the same thing, you know, the voice acting for Arden Junior, his voice acting is so well, you know, you probably know his voice acting, he does other voice acting, such as Watch Overwatch and uh, other games, he's voice acting as well. Same thing with these voice actors. Um, that's the only thing that's so good about you know with the uh, pretty much in the game with the story wise or even during the gameplay wise. You know their voices is so spot on, and um, and <laughs> I gotta say they did a great job finding these great voice acting as much you know as much as we needed you know for uh, every other Final Fantasy game. And also I gotta say by the the game uh, the voice acting. Um, I play the game in English, and uh, <coughs> the English voice acting, I say these, the main characters, um, the voice actors who play the main characters are so well. They so good. I like I like how the English voice acting, uh, you know, they so, you know, how they put in so much effort in this, you know, in the game as a characteristic, like not this, you know. His voice acting is so spot on, so good. Uh, and um, <clears> the <throat> same thing with you know, Pronto's voice actor, he's so likable. Uh, I love English voice actor, he's so, you know, like, you know, he's so imperial and so, you know, like, um, a guide, you know, type of person, which, you know, I love about his character. And also with, you know, Gladio's voice actor, you know, like I said, that he's similar like Raphael, he's like a high head, but, he is more like a high head, and he show they show him very well. And the same thing, you know, the voice acting for Arden Junior, his voice acting is so well. You know, you probably know his voice acting. He does other voice acting, such as Watch Overwatch and uh, other games. He's a voice acting as well. Same thing with these voice actors. Uh, that's the only thing that's so good about you know, with the, uh, pretty much in the game with the story wise, or even during the gameplay wise. You know, their voices is so spot on. 
and um, and <laughs> I gotta say they did a great job finding the great voice acting as much you know as much as we needed you know for uh, every other Final Fantasy game. So the music of course is composed by Yoko Shimomura and all I gotta say is her music is so beautiful. I, I got nothing to complain about her music. I love her music. At the same time I love the real music. I'm going to this is will Final Fantasy next month and I know they're gonna play the 15 music which I'm super super excited. And um, I just can't wait to hear her music live. I know they're probably gonna play her music but there's a lot of songs that I like that within the game. I would say my favorite track it has to do with the Imperial, Im, Im, Imperial boss fight. Um, <laughs> uh, if you guys hear that track, uh, I gotta say that that song is epic. You guys gotta listen to the full version. It is an epic, epic song. I hope, I hope, you know, they play that in the distance world because that is one of my favorite songs. And I like all, I like all the songs. Like, I can't wait for the actual soundtrack to release sometime soon. But I'll just say that I love her music and her rendition about. I'll be missing all the classic Final Fantasy game like the Chocobo theme song and the Final Fantasy main theme song. Um, it's just amazing. Well, graphic and setting wise, it is beautiful. Um, the setting is is so massive. Like it's an open world. Like it's really open world. Like once you play the game, it's open world. Like oh, and you and I forgot to mention about the gameplay that you also control the. The car called the uh, Regalia, which is you know a car that either you could drive as Noctis as Manly or Ignis to drive. Well, you don't really control much with the car because the car is pretty much on rails. But if you do drive it Manly, you can crash the car, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And you know, once you crash the car, it could be total damage. And then once you get too damage, it could be a game over. And also, in the end of the game, after you complete it, you get a fly ship which <laughs> I had so much fun flying that I said I don't I had so much fun fun flying that I hope to explore that more like once the update patch comes in but yeah the world is very open very massive there's certain towns and cities that's almost similar like you know like Venice and uh, uh, France and pretty much you know all the the popular uh, countries and cities in the around the world now I'm gonna talk about the story, and the story is very, very complex. Uh, <laughs> the story could be a little bit better. I said this before about the, the, the characteristic that not being used as much, uh, or not being seen, or not being like say like you know, you know what happens to this person, what happens to that person, you know. I mean, I hope Square Enix do see this, and I would just say that if they could. Um, um, if they want to make this game perfect, they need to fix up the, the story, the, the story, like fix up the story and update it, um, like make it more better. I'm not saying much to give more detail about the characters, uh, the department members you play as, because you get that, you get to know them more in Brotherhood. Maybe add a little some stuff from that within Brotherhood that everybody could understand, those who haven't seen it, and or those, also those who haven't seen Kingsglaive. And um, and same thing with Kingsley, like add a little like opening, like a little beginning, like have not this roam around in uh, in uh, Insomnia, so that way you know we could get his no more idea of what was his home like before it was you know destroyed by the Empire, the Nifuham Empire, you know stuff that they could just add in. And the same thing with the boss fights, they could add more with the boss fights and make it more say, storytelling and much more. I gotta be say that <laughs> even though there are some issues with the story, the game is so good. I mean, it is so beautiful. The ending, I literally almost guarantee it, it is a sad, very sad, and we top it up with Crisis Core and Type Zero. He knows how to make a heart. I'm not sure, like, if T uh, Tetsu No More will have the same story ending. Why? I felt like I think his. His whole, this whole game was probably his vision, but Tabata, um, Hajime uh, Tabata probably took it over and just juice it up a bit, but sometimes add stuff that, not add stuff, but take away stuff that, you know, 
should have like not pissed us off but pretty much should have like say I wish they should have cut that off maybe should just let that as alone you know but I I can't complain that much and a replay do I feel like I should play, replay this again of course I'm gonna replay this game again um, I'm actually gonna continue playing this game um, probably continue with more questions and also wait for the update patch Hopefully they do a face up of the storyline. Maybe I could start a new game and make it all you know, restart the whole thing over again so I can play the game with the new update storylines and stuff. I already have the season pass, so you know, hopefully, you know, they you know you know I know he's listening, I know he's listening to the fans. I hope you know he fits all those stuff. So overall, this is my favorite Final Fantasy game, way better than 13. I'm not saying it's way better than 7, but 7 does have the issues and stuff like that. Um, I know Final Fantasy 7 is remake is coming out, which I know they're probably going to add more scenes, more story from all the Final Fantasy games or movies and so on. But as for 15 wise, I love this game. I love this game. I will replay this game again and again and again and again. I know there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up in the next, you know, and for the next year that you know that probably will give it this rate this rating a high rating so overall guys i give final fantasy 15 a 9.2 out of 10. i love this game um i would give this you know much higher if the story was better and certain uh levels um not chapters were a bit short <laughs> like you know i like i think uh to chapter uh 10 or 11 you know, it's just, it's just, I, I, tell, I could tell that Square Enix just watch those games and say, okay, let me watch those games and do that. But this is not the first time that Square Enix does stuff like this. You know, there's other RPG games that they did watch that did a complete story, like, you know, Xeno Gears and, um, <clears throat> um, there's a lot. I, I, there's, there's a whole list of games that they need, they should have fixed, but, you know, but it, it is hard because it is a big massive game and 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 when you have a, a you know <clears throat> a date to release it, you know, you gotta make sure that everything is, you know, ready, 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 ready. You know, it's hard to be a game a, a game programmer, you know. I, I while I play this game, I feel the sympathy of these people who made this game because they try our best to make it for us and I think this game is is it, it wins all of us back, you know, from 13 disaster series. And lastly, you know, if they could decide to do Final Fantasy 16, I hope, you know, I'm not sure what gameplay style or, you know, type of um, gameplay they're gonna do, if they're gonna go back to turn base or they could continue with the action, um, action turn base type of thing. Um, it doesn't matter, as long as they make it as open world like when they did with 15. And do say with 16 because 14 has the open massive world and they keep updating with the patches. Um, so I hope Tabula study that with the 14. Maybe probably talk to the creator of 14 to understand more with the open worlds stuff like that. And story wise, you know, um, talk to the original creator of Final Fantasy about how to make a great perfect story because this game is good and the ending is sad, but everything else could be better. So. Anyway guys, gotta go, what do you guys think, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think about this game, I love it, I play this game, I already finished the game, I continue playing the game, um, once the update patches comes in, I'm gonna restart the whole thing and try this game again and hopefully the, everything they add in will be much, much, or oh, 10 times better than what I originally rated. Anyway guys, gotta go, bye.